good morning again everyone my name is miss laura and i am here today to bring you steam saturday courtesy of hugh embry and new river libraries in pasco county today we're going to be dissolving candy corn mm. <laughs> okay for this obviously we need some candy corn we need some clear containers so that we can see what's happening. And I have some toothpicks. You could use spoons or something. This is just to stir and pick up the science experiment as it goes along. And I have my fluids. I have chosen plain room temperature-ish water, some white vinegar because that always brings fun, and in my lovely Pasco County drinking bottle, I have some soda. Full disclosure, it is Cherry Coke Zero. That was the only one available at my house. <laughs> so, oh, and I also will be using my trusty phone as a timer. Now, for this to be a good scientific experiment, I am going to try and pick three candy corns that are roughly the same size because if you'll see there are some that are way smaller look at that one that's a jip right there that one he doesn't count he goes in that bowl now we'll put some plain water in this cup i'm going to try and put the same amount of liquid in each cup because when you're doing scientific experiments you want to have just one variable because you want to see what it is that's causing that result. So if we had, if I had just a tiny dribble in this one, but I had like a bucket full of this one, it might just be there's just that much more liquid. Actually, I'm gonna separate that. And put that there by its bottle because this one's gonna be brown. So we'll know this one is soda. Might have gone a little flat since this morning, but that's okay. Okay. I would like to put about the same in each one. Now. them in gently because I have no idea what kind of reaction I'm going to get here. Could be a very violent reaction. Okay. My hypothesis was the vinegar one was going to react pretty violently. I was expecting it to almost dissolve on contact because vinegar is an acid. So I'm actually quite surprised that this one it's still firm. Yeah, it's still holding its shape pretty good. Oh, can you see that? There's some... That's probably the wax. Yes, these are covered in wax. <laughs> Seems to be coming off. Okay. I'm going to put you put the straw right there. Now let's poke around at our one in the soda a little bit. Oh, I don't know if you can see. This one is actually covered in bubbles. She looks really pretty. I don't know if that's bubbles from the soda or from the candy. Is that, is that wax? The, looks like the wax is coming off, the coating is coming off the candy. And look at this one. This is plain old tap water from here in uh, Dade City. And look at that. Look at that, people. Our tap water is like munching into this. Like, oh wow, look at that. <gasps> it's like, ew, slime. Okay. Oh, the vinegar one is, is certainly catching up now. 
that one's definitely shedding and it's shedding some dye why don't we set the timer for 10 minutes let's come back in 10 minutes and see what happens I have to interfere with this. We are at, we've still got three minutes left, so we've done seven minutes, but this one has split in half. This is the vinegar one. And some of the yellow has come out. The, the white color has come off. That is shrinking rapidly. There is a lot of bubbling. It's, it's it's dissolving and it's it's dissolving pretty quickly now the soda appears to still be holding its shape it is still maintaining its shape pretty well which surprises me wow look at that it's it's maintained it, its structural integrity Really? Wow. Wow, that surprises me with all the negative things people say about sodas, which I say them too. I'm not a fan of sodas, but that surprises me how little damage it has done to that. This is the real surprise. Just a tap water. Man, look at that. It is decimating it <laughs> the white is almost completely gone the whole thing has shrunk down immensely let's put a crack in it like all the way through wow this is almost completely eaten in just tap water and i can assure you that is all that is in that container wow that is incredible that one is going to be gone here very soon. I am really surprised. Let's go back to the timer. Oh, we're a minute and counting down. Oh, something's happened in the soda. It's broken. Mm, it's broken. Maybe I, maybe I kind of hastened that with poking at it a bit, but it has broken into two pieces. I would hypothesize that once the outside has been compromised, the inside might be a little more vulnerable. Ah, while I'm deliberately messing with these, I shouldn't be. What I was saying earlier about variables, when we're doing a science experiment, you want to limit the number of variables you have. In this experiment, the variable was the liquids that we put the candy corn in. Another variable you could do, cold water and hot water. Or how about if you added some salt to the water? How about if you stirred them? You could do them all in these liquids, but stirred them. Compare those results with these results. And this would also be a good time to use making charts. List your results on a chart. This could be a candy corn in water not stirred pretty much dissolved at x number of minutes then you could have candy corn in stirred water dissolved at x minutes x being whatever the number of minutes it was and you could see if you were uh, close with your hypothesis or your theories are your guesses? I was completely wrong with mine. I was so sure the water was just going to not do anything. <laughs> so, if you guys keep a science journal at all, this would be a really good thing to add into your science journal. 
and you could time them, even put them overnight. See if you could get them to dissolve completely. That would be fun. You could also try different candy. I'm wondering what marshmallows would do. Or jelly beans. Jelly beans have a really thick outer coating, don't they? That would be interesting. Hmm. I might have to go home and see what candy I have at home. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching these poor candy corns get destroyed. <laughs> and I hope to see you again next time. Oh, in the meantime, don't forget, we will have a um, kit for you to take home starting Monday with instructions on how to do this experiment yourself at home. And it will have the link so that you can rewatch this video. Bye bye.